somewhere under this island. The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. I made a randomizer for Halo CE. It uh, randomizes enemies. Let me tell you the good, the bad, and how to play it yourself. You know Minecraft World Seeds? I randomizers got that. This is cool if you want to like do a speedrun race with a randomizer. You can have everyone use the same seed, so you want to know what bullshit you get, but at least you know everyone gets the same bullshit. You can play a co-op, but if you need to set the same seed, then activate it while you're in the lobby. You can also use it with custom campaigns. This is Cursed Halo by Inferno Plus. I haven't tested any other campaigns yet, but they probably work. Let me know if they don't. Popcorn. When they get re-rolled into other enemies, it can be pretty crazy and a little bit bullshit. So I, I added a toggle to make them exempt from randomization if you want things to be a bit fairer. But I think it's funny if you let them get re-rolled. Your allies can get randomized into Covenant and enemies can get turned into Marines. So watch your friendly fire. Due to the way the game stores enemy data, AI can only get re-rolled into AI that already exists on a particular level, so you won't get flood on levels where flood don't already usually show up. On average, the randomizer makes the game way more difficult. Be prepared to fight hundreds of hunters, amongst other madness. If you usually play on Legendary, you might want to consider turning it down a bit. The animations can be pretty broken sometimes. If MCC gets a patch, the randomizer tool will stop working. But within a few days I'll probably put up a new release that works with the latest version, so you can hop on the GitHub and download a new one. Oh yeah, and obviously this is only for PC players. Sorry console guys. Step 1. Download and install G-Engine. Link in the duplicate. Don't worry, it's not a virus, pro probably. Just having it installed won't get you back banned from your competitive online video games, but you don't want to have it running while you're playing your other games, that, that might get you banned. Step 2. Download the randomizer from the GitHub release page in the description. Step 3. Boot up the game. Make sure you select the option to launch with anti-cheat disabled. Step 4. Start the trainer. Pick your settings. Click activate. Now you can load into a level. It should work. I uh... It uh... It randomizes anyway. Now, um, you speedrunners will probably be happy to hear that the tool supports the downpatched version of the game most of us play on, specifically the Season 8 version 2645 release. Anyway, um, I'll just close this out with some dumb footage, I guess. Enjoy!